Now I invite Dr. Leela Edwin from Central Institute of Fishing Technology. Respected moderator, panelists, and my dear friends, are ring scenes still responsible? That is the question. An evaluation is done um, as per scientific observations that I will be presenting here. And Kerala being um, a very popular center for ring scene fishing, 71% of the pelagic landings contributed by the ring scene. So this gear was first introduced in 1985 in Co Kerala of Cochin. And this has now spread to the different parts of the country. A very recent study showed that ring scenes are prevalent even in the rocky coast of the southern tip. The ring scene has been contributing to 50.1% 50, 50 of the total landings of Kerala state. So it has conquered most of the states of the country, except maybe West Bengal and Lakshadweep and the Man Nicobar Island. This gear has been continuing to evolve since the 30 years of its introduction. And there have been significant variations in the fishing gear, craft, and in the engine horsepower. Here you can see the growth of the length of the gear. The, uh, considering the LOA or the total length of the craft, you can see it has increased from 8.5 meter in 1985, and it has reached more than 24.4 meter, much bigger than trawlers being operated in the country. Engine horsepower shows a 15 horsepower engine in 1985. And by 1997, there was a mechanization phase when it shifted to the inboard engine. And uh, now it has come to more than 400 horsepower. These are the changes in ring scene during the three decades. Propulsion has shifted from the OBM to the IBM. Material of construction has changed from wood, traditional material of construction to steel. Maximum duration of operation also has increased. Navigation is through GP, GPS, VHF, and mobile. Phones, fish detection, this is the latest development, was through visual detections based on the uh, indigenous technical know-how of the fishermen. And now it is based on sea color, disturbance of the sea surface, etc. But now Echosound is being used for fish detection. This is just a classification of ring scene, motorized and mechanized. And depending on the type of gear used, again, it is classified type of craft, and again, on the mode of operation, number of vessels being used for fishing, with or without winch. These are some of the photographs, and some mechanized uh, steel ring scenes, FRP ring scenes being operated. So with the increase in size of the craft, the gear, and the high horsepower of the engine, the investment in this sector has risen. The steel mechanized units now cost, now they say it has reached one crore. This is just two years back. This uncontrolled growth of craft and gear has are the main reasons for this huge investment. You can imagine the debt these fishermen are because traditional fishermen themselves own the craft. So this is the operational cost, which includes the fuel expenditure and all the other expenditure during a single day operation. So the initial investment for a steel inboard vessel, again, it is given 83,000 wooden separately. So here comes a new uh, entrant some three, four years back, a small mesh ring scene that is very small in size. First, it was introduced some four years back in the Chelanam area. This is a typical case study of the ring scene operated there. Uh, it is about less than 300 meter in length and uh, about 40 meter in depth. And this was uh, to the peop to the generally to the uh, people who were concerned about the ring scene operation, the growing effort, and the growing um, size of the uh, size of the system. Ring scene system means the craft, the gear, and the engine. This was considered to be a savior. So CFT did a three-month study on this ring scene. This is a typical uh, small ring scene unit. The total length of the fishing vessel is only 12 meter. So a total of 59 species, unlike, very unlikely of a ring scene because it is mainly pelagic catch. A total of 59 species was recorded and these are some of the important species because they were operating very near the show. Most of the species that came in for breeding and uh, everything was caught in the net. 
the major mean length of the species was less than the min minimum size at maturity. So almost all the species caught were major species caught were juveniles. It was found that juveniles landed anchovies and sardine accounted for nearly 70 percentage of the total juvenile catch, and the rest was contributed by a mixture of many species. The small sardines are large, uh, landed in huge quantity, and only 25 percentage of the sardines landed went to the fresh fish market, and the rest were used for fish meal or manure making. So when we interacted with the fishermen, they were telling that and this, these juveniles were in great demand, actually. One box of juveniles, uh, which could hold 50 kg, uh, would fetch them 1,000 rupees at least. So then uh, two boxes would cover the operational cost, and they would uh, sell it. And it was taken to, like Mr. Peter was telling, fish meat plants at uh, Muttam. Muttam for sale. So uh, aquaculture is definitely a boon to our country, but the co cost that capture fisheries has to pay for the growth of culture fisheries has to be taken into consideration. Also, the ring scenes, uh, we could observe some intergear conflicts. This was restricted to the Trivandrum district, Anjadanga area. And th this was between traditional gillnet longline fishermen and the ring sceners in that area. They were fishing in the same area. And ring sinners, uh, longline fishermen who got 100 to 300 kg, they were living um, a, a sort of a susta sustainable um, catching and selling that, and they were living happily. But when the ring sinners entered in this area and brought in tons of catch, they were um, intruding into the area where longline nurse fished, and that there was a clash between these fishermen, and because they were fishing at the same depth. So these areas have to be demarcated whenever such um, two different gears are operated. I think uh, there should be a community-based decision on the areas where it should be operated. One thing that we could observe, this was the LCA assessment, life cycle assessment study that we undertook in CIFT for the first time. Uh, different gears were analyzed on the basis of the inputs that go into the gear for the making of the gear and also for the operation of the gear. So under this study, what we could understand was um, gears like ring scene or mini person need not be banned because they are the most effective when, com uh, when it comes to en environmental impact. That is, it has the, got the least carbon emission when compared to trawls, multi-day or single-day trawls. So considering the environmental impact of the gear, this has to be regulated and it can do sustainable fishing, but the mesh size has to be increased to make, uh, make ring scene more sustainable. Uh, ring scene mesh size can be optimized. The gear should not be touching the bottom and disturbing the bottom for now while operation. And control of effort by optimizing the size gear and size of engine can be taken up. So with this, I stop. Thank you.